Yeah, All right. Call me <laughs> hey guys, so it is um, January 3rd, and I just got back from San Diego, and I'm with my best friend, Aaron. Which, um, so I was gonna bring him into the vlogs the first day that I got back from SoCal, but then I think we just had to catch up. I think we, ca we just caught up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, we went to the mall, but then like I didn't want to um, bring the camera because we were shopping, even though we didn't buy shit. But anyways, so I'm with my best friend now. We're gonna go to Panera. Um, I spent New Year's Eve at an EDM concert, so I'm gonna enter some clips like after this because like I was gonna say EDC, <laughs> and then I was like, Did wait, you say no, EDM it's... concert. Okay, so anyways, I spent my New Year's Eve at OMFG, so I'm gonna enter some clips of that after this one so you guys can see that. But yeah, we're gonna go to Panera. I'm really excited. Are you excited? I'm, I'm so, so excited. hungry. I all day. Yeah, and then I'll introduce him to you when we get there. Okay. Excited. All right, guys, we got to Panera. I got a salad and an autumn squash. What'd you get? I got grilled cheese and a tomato soup. Yum. Okay, we're gonna eat. All right, guys, so we finished eating at Panera and we ended up getting boba from Tasty. I got a peach and sweet tea with boba and Okay, last time I went to Tasty though, they didn't give me boba, so I was like really sad because like I get excited to drink like the boba and then I didn't get boba. But anyways, I thought it would be really cool to reflect on like 2018 just because I think we can all agree that it was very rough in some aspects, but it was also a very good year just to learn and to carry over to 2019. So basically this year like... I think for both of us too, just like friendships and like relationships, we learned like, or at least I learned that like what I want in my relationships, whether it's with like a guy or whether it's like friendships and like, I think like I let go of a lot of people that were bad for me and I think I ended 2019 with a good group of people and definitely people that I want to keep in my life for like a really long time. So I'm really happy about that because like I literally in the middle of this year, I went through a huge, not depression, I'm not gonna call it depression because that's dramatic and I'm dramatic, but like I was so, so, I know, I was so, so, I'm so dramatic, not. but I went through like this whole thing where I was just like, where am I even gonna, like who am I gonna hang out with this year, like where do I even belong, I've joined almost every group on campus, like where am I gonna go? But I found my group and I'm really happy and thankful for that, and also it's just crazy because I transitioned from my first year of college to my second year of college, and we were just talking about how like, we can't believe like a lot of the things that happened to us happened this year. Yeah. Like, yeah. this year was a very long year. It was so long. Yes. Like, I compared it like Black Panther came out this year. It or, came out this year. 2018. It's 2019 now. But, like, it's 2019. Yeah. yeah, but the beginning of 2018. It came out. And then I feel like it came out like so many years ago. No, yeah. Like, oh my god. So much shit happened. <laughs> so much stuff happened, but I think that I've grown so much and. I'm thankful for everything that I went through this year because I think like even talking to like some of my other best friends like we can all agree that we literally got the shit beat out of us like we literally cried together in our dorms and like I would come back and I'd be like where are the Kleenex like it was just crazy it was crazy like it was just it, it was a lot to handle but for her mine was majority happy I was chilling you literally had a breakdown I, okay I had more breakdowns than I thought I did but like, I wasn't, like, crying my ass off. Like, I cried maybe once last <laughs> year. Okay, but I, I cried within reason, okay? You cry off everything. No, that's not true. But it's okay. fine, because your crying makes me laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I think many of you guys know this story, but when me and my first boyfriend broke up, I was so sad. Like, I couldn't stop crying. And he picks me up. This is my best friend, by the way. Hello. And he picked me up. I opened the door, like, sobbing my eyes out, and he's literally just laughing at me. And this is, like, before we were, like, best friends. Like, this yeah, is, like, the he beginning was just of, like, our relationship. Like, our friendship. Like, I obviously knew she was sad, and she came to my work. So I was, like, after our shift, I took her out to get ice cream, like, whatever. Like, just cheer up. And then on the way to ice cream, I was just laughing my ass off. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to come for her. Because I just, like, knew you, like, for, what, a month? Yeah, maybe I a month. I think it was a month. Yeah. So I just started laughing. Because I was just like, this is awkward. I was so sad. And then she started laughing. And I was like, it's working. It's working. <laughs> well, like, I... And then I cried when I got home after I hang out. But anyways, that was basically how Yeah, but I stopped your crying temporarily. Temporarily. Which is good. Yeah. Because it was funny. It was not. <laughs> 
I for me, I was so laughing. Much. Now every time you cry, like I just laugh and like. Or I, you tell me like if you cry, don't cry because I'm gonna laugh and you already know it's gonna happen. Yeah, like <laughs> I tell everyone like if you want like rainbows and sunshine, do not come to me. Like honestly, I, if he does <laughs> not know what to do. Like he'll literally like if you want a hug, don't go to him. He'll tap you and laugh. Well, I'll hug you and like Will comfort you, you I don't but know. like at my own pleasure too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so basically. Goals for 2019? Okay, what are your goals? Do you have any? Um, to think, to do things for myself. Mm -hmm. Like, for sure. I tend to put like other things and other people ahead of me, and then like, it, like I'm happy overall, but like I could be a lot happier, and like it's just like focusing on myself and just doing things for myself. Being selfish, do you, I don't care. Do. Exactly. Exactly. Like, instead of me telling everyone, you do you, like, no, I'll treat myself. Exactly. Like, I think you should definitely focus on that. Yeah, and to lose weight. But isn't that <laughs> everyone else's cycle, too? <laughs> no, literally, as soon as you get back to school, everyone's going to be at the gym. And I saw this tweet, and it was like, damn. No, yeah, you wait, like, a month. And, and then, then they're gone. It, then they're weeded yeah, out. All yeah, the people then, like then it goes back down. Because yeah. beginning of the year, or beginning of, like, a semester, too, the gym's going to be packed. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Not out. excited for that. But yeah, if like you go run with your neighborhood or like just like around the campus, do I that. I want to run on the, the track, gym. but I don't know if it's open and stuff. Just run around like your campus. Like your campus is pretty big. Yeah, I might do that, but we'll see. Cause mine is like cut like two, three miles. Like it's a full oh yeah, circle. Huh? yeah, mine's like three miles of full Pretty circle. Sure. So if I just do that once or twice, like I'm chilling. I only go to gym in front of <laughs> everyone and have everyone watch me. Like, oh my god! Disgusting. You're like, who is he? Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm a bigger person, and a bigger person on the treadmill makes noise. You know? <laughs> Wait, there's this, there's this one guy at our gym, and he uses like the one the one that goes like this, and you like run on it like this. It's like you put your feet on it, and you just it's like a riding a bike, but not really. It's like paddles kind of. Okay. And oh my god, that he goes. And you can hear him you go. Hear like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, you're like, yes, boo. Like, get fit and stuff. But yeah, it's anyways. funny because like when we <laughs> run and like do whatever, like obviously we have more weight, so obviously our steps are gonna be louder. So obviously it's gonna be Heavy. boom, 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 <laughs> right in your light ass. Like, no, I actually <laughs> pound pretty hard because I like I like stomp when I run. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> anyways, yeah, uh, off topic. <laughs> so. I think our goals are kind of similar. We just want to like focus on ourselves, and I think for me, my biggest goal is just like not trying to like be friends with everyone. Like, I'm gonna be kind to people, of course, but then like I love everyone in my life, and I want to keep that circle like small and tight and strong. And <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Anyways, I can already do that. Okay. If you can't tell, we're very much people pleasing. And the people we need to be pleased in should be ourselves. Should be ourselves. So. And I definitely, I think I, I did focus on myself a lot at the end of this year. But also, like when I hear my friends talk about people in their life that they're having issues with, I think it's really easy for me to recognize like you don't deserve that. Like just cut it out. And so this year, I want to like as soon as I see something that's like not good for my growth, I just want to be able to cut it out and like continue my growth and everything. But that's basically it. Like, I'm pretty happy with where I am, and 2019 started out really well. So I'm really excited for what the rest of the year has. Yeah. And yeah, so anyways, we're at TJ Maxx now because this is like our thing. We just come here and look at stuff because mm -hmm. we can. TJ Maxx or Target? Well, we can go to both because they're next to each other. Well, yeah. And like, we usually don't buy anything. We just like looking. Yeah, but I think, it, like, I feel like there might be cute stuff because... We haven't it's been here the in a long new year. Time. Yeah, we haven't been here in a long time. Yeah. So we're gonna go to TJ Maxx, maybe go to Target. I'll bring you along with me though, so we're gonna go do that and we'll see you when we get inside. Uh, dope. Okay guys, so I'm gonna look at the suitcases. This one is so cute. Look at this pattern. Oh I love this pink one too. You I have, definitely fit in that one. I definitely I like this one though. But I also yeah, like this cute. one. I feel like these won't get like as dirty because you can like wipe them off, you know? But like, I have so much stuff and like I need to like fit my shoes and everything. That's, that's I don't know, these are so cute though, I really like them. Stop taking selfies. <laughs> okay, so we are currently in the stationery section because we always look at the notebooks here because they're cute. <gasps> that is so cute. I really want one of those for my room. But can you hang them on the wall too? Yeah. Okay guys, this thing is like super this one, in. Yeah. Like these like boards where you like write your own letters and stuff. I feel like this is too inspirational to you like wake up and you see it and you're like, oh, that's cute. 
I don't know. To be honest, my room has a lot of decorations already, but I can always add more and yeah. But yeah, we're gonna look at notebooks and then I don't know. Honestly, I don't really have any money to spend, but I'm probably gonna buy some stuff anyways. That's cute. Smaller one. Guys, there's a mini one. Oh, I like this this one. Oh yeah. That one's really cute. After New Year's. In 2019, guys, we're only gonna be happy and drink wine. Oh, these are so cute. As we came to the men's section, what'd you say? I don't know why they call it men. These are very small men. You see, these are very small men's clothes. <laughs> hey guys, we finished at TJ Maxx and we're gonna head to Target now, but I'm gonna end the vlog right now just because Target's probably not gonna be more interesting than TJ Maxx. Or it might be, but I kind of don't think it is. So again, TJ Maxx was boring as yeah. hell. There was fucking nothing there. Usually on trips, they are really interesting, but they created it into more of like a home goods type thing so like a lot of our stationery and accessories weren't there anymore but yeah it wasn't so, even like home goods it was like clothing it was clothing yeah but like not good clothing so like it was just kind of boring so <laughs> i'm sorry that part of the vlog isn't that interesting but i'm gonna end the vlog here so i'll see you guys in my next vlog bye